we're from Leo Club and we signed up to help out at Coyote Creek because generally Leo Club is a club that helps high schoolers find community service for their high school requirement. And cleanup is usually convenient and near where people live in Mokitas. And it also helps the high schooler become more involved with their community and know what the environment around them looks like. So the nature aspect of Coyote Creek is definitely a benefit of it. I'm a, I'm a member of Phi Chi Theta. It's a business fraternity at Santa Clara University. And we have at least 25 of us out here today, you know, just putting in hours, trying to give the community some, uh, some much needed support. And uh, yeah, you know, picking up trash. This is my fourth bag. I've already filled up three to the brim. So in addition to cleanup, we do lots of other stuff. So we focus not only on cleaning up the litter, but getting people connected to the street. And we do this in various ways. So we do a lot of nature tours and something called BioBlitz, where we document the different moving species along the Coyote Creek so that scientists can discover what issues are being brought to the surface. Hi, my name is Walter Cook and I'm the interpretive coordinator for Cape Coyote Creek View. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Ashton. I'm with the San Jose Conservation Corps. And on the weekends I do work with keeping Coyote Creek beautiful. My name is Annette McMillan. My position here is as an event uh, volunteer coordinator. So way back when, I was the coordinator of an education program and I had the chance to work with Deb. And I saw how passionate she was about cleaning up the creeks and just how big of a problem it was. And my whole life, I've been trying to address the issues of litter and uh, pollution. And this just seemed like the perfect outlet. I, I was introduced to it by my superior, her name is Brianna, over the San Jose Conservation Corps. And uh, she said, Jeff, if you'd like, on the weekends, there's this company or this uh, organization, Keep Coyote Creek Beautiful. And if you'd like, uh, you can do some work for them on the weekends, and that way you can uh, earn more towards your scholarship. So just getting those service hours in while also helping my community. I think uh, there are uh, things that I uh, love being in nature, and then once you actually do clean up, you realize how important it is to get things pristine as much as possible in nature and I think doing cleanup is one of the ways uh, we do it. I also believe there's a lot of value in actually educating the public on the things we are trying to to the wildlife that lives around the creek and I think when you actually add up um, the cleanup as well as the biobliss I think you get like a, a more wholesome picture of how things are working and what role you can play. Right, so what drew me to this organization? Is, uh, when I was in Seventh Day State, or uh, at Seventh Day State in uh, 2018, 19, um, I came out here to do some volunteer hours and uh, was introduced to the organization. Um, and so, really, it was that I got introduced um, through Seventh Day State. So, hopefully, a lot of these volunteers will fall in love too and maybe want to come and work with us. Coyote Creek, I love Coyote Creek. 54 miles of it. We consider it our big backyard. So it's always been a source of uh, uh, comfort to me. We taught our kids how to ride their bikes on it. It's, it's, uh, it's our it's trail. Part, part about who we are. My goal is to get this river rewilded. We hope to see in future the waste going into the ocean gets reduced with the help of organizations like KCC. Every time I pick up something, I make a story about it. <laughs> Every piece of junk has a story. You're doing good if, if you fill those bags.